some contact between the turbo inlet pipe and coolant pipe and another little hose clamp in there. So yeah, just gonna try to get in there, move that around, fix that a little bit, you know. So what I did was move that little rubber stopper piece up a little bit, try to shove it between the little heat shield on the brake booster, heater hose, and that line coming off the turbo inlet pipe. So hopefully that's good enough. You know, you can see that little rubber piece there. So hopefully that does its job. I guess we'll find out. Anybody? Hey, it's warm enough. You gotta blow the cobwebs out of it. You know, it's been sitting. You gotta open her up. Plus, I'm still close. You know, if anything does go wrong, it's all right, I can walk home. <laughs> Man, I just, I love this car because it's the polar opposite of the Volvo. It is lowered. You know, it's not slammed, but it rides harder than the Volvo. It's louder than the Volvo, smaller than the Volvo. And that's why I love it. I've got that thing, I've got this thing, they serve two different purposes, and they're equally as fun in completely different ways. And yeah, every time I pull this thing out and drive it again, I'm like, this is why I've owned this car for 10 years. 
what is it, 2023? 11 years now. I don't want to get rid of it. I like it too much. Not the fastest, not the lowest, not the nicest, but it's everything I need it to be. And, and that's it. And that makes me happy. So, what else could you ask for in a car, right? It's just gotta make you happy. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Normally this is something I would do and not share, so if you enjoyed it, leave a comment and let me know. If you're interested in other Volkswagen Jetta DIYs, you can check those out here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.